Well, this is pretty nice. This is the view from the 11th floor of the Scandic Continental Hotel overlooking the Central Rail Station, one of the many rivers in Stockholm. What time is it now? 8.30? Something like that? 10 to 9. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're exploring central Stockholm, looking for a nicer butane gas canister, as always. This it's is a city, we get to know where it is. This is what tourists do in backpacking tourists do in foreign cities, is they search the city for ice butane gas canisters. Let's see, it's supposed to be down here. Unispot. Oh, Unispot. We can check this out. This looks like a clothing sports store, not a real sports store. Nah, it's just clothing. We need this Alawal's place, wherever that is. Yeah, nice city, Stockholm. All these countries present different, unique problems. So here in Stockholm, there's no problem buying gas canisters and maps and stuff. Really good sports stores. Buy anything you want for the backpacking front, but we can't get cash. It's a cashless society, except along the Kungsleden. You can withdraw sixty. Sixty dollars worth. Time. Yeah, with probably five dollar ATM fees. So I would have to withdraw maybe thirty times. That's ridiculous. So we need to find an ATM that doesn't have a limit. One of the many rivers in Stockholm. Yeah, I say that. City of the Angels. Oh, it's a beautiful city. She had an epiphany. She said, Well, this looks very European. <laughs> very, very European. What is that? You can just tell, huh? It's different from back home. Yeah, it's not like Nothing at all, like San Diego. Yeah, nice. It's very nice. In these cobblestone paths. The old section is the old section of Stockholm, which Ridgewood called Stockport. And he had to erase that video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you get old. You get forgetful. You don't know where you are. Look at Reagan. He didn't know what country he was in. Well, I think most of our friends would visit Stockholm. It's not our way, though. Uh, they're taking the prisoners back to the ship. I mean, the tourists back to the ship. Oh, we could be looking at Geneva here. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day here in Stockholm. Maybe this is Sweden's version of Oktoberfest. I don't know what's going on here. Central Station. We gotta figure out where to take the train tonight. It's a rabbit warren in here, inside the Central Station.
just a hell of it. I never say enough, but I'm my best show. But if I'm gonna die, Hey man, we're just waiting for the train to Narvik, the Arctic Circle sleeper train. Oh, well, maybe mine isn't the biggest pack. Uh, number 12. <laughs> Six on hook on off. Maybe boxing all the way along there. Number seven and eight. Well, there we go. Oof. Cool. A sleeping oh, we compartment. Got We've got three beds in here. Well, <laughs> pretty narrow. Sleep this way? I think it pulls well, I don't know. And then an upper bunk for the more agile amongst us old folks. There's something holding it. Wait, wait, my pack. My pack. Separate beds. One in each bed. What do you mean? I don't see you anymore. Any more what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, one, there's, one, there's one folded up in the oh, middle. Here? Right here. Oh. This is a bed. And then this could be a bed too, I think. Yeah. How, how many blankets are there? That's the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. And we're off. I don't know where everybody went, but everybody's left, pretty much. These guys have left, our next door neighbours, these guys have left. We almost missed the stop because we didn't realise this was actually the stop. We thought the train had stopped short at the stop. But we were getting off to a good beginning. Lots of backpackers. <laughs> All aboard for Norway. I think I'm the only one wearing shorts. There goes the train. It's a long train. And the coffee was all the way at the end. Just 
tourist station train stop. Fischke Kungsleden with the names of all the Vollstücker. Alle Jari. Look at the Vari. Kultulukta. Jakvik. Amarnas. Amavan. 443 kilometers. Very cool. Mm. Go through the gauntlet. Get hazed. Oh, there's all the peaks. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you the peaks. Get a bit nicey. I speak in Sweden. I realised that everybody on the train was going to be coming to reception. Well, not everybody, but there's quite a line. And it's moving slowly. Reindeer coats. Just the thing to keep you warm here. They're kind of molting a bit. Yeah, nice day. So this is the store at the Pisco Mountain Station. And they have individual freeze-dried dinners. They are 89 Swedish krona. So that's about $9 for one person. So yeah, not cheap. And... Uh, 3% beer, or 3.5% beer rather, there's three dollars US, so that's not bad. You got all this canned food, heavy food, not suitable for backpacking. And what else? We got clothes. Lots of gas. Mostly Primus type. Some Pierce ones. On the upper shelf. Plenty of gas anyway. Lots of cooking stuff. First aid. No, it's not bad. Not badly stocked. Never say it out loud, don't let it show But if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna 